Today I'm going to be trying out oil pastels from Paul Rubens. They sent these to me to try out and I just can't wait to try them. My only other experience with oil pastels has been ones that came in those, you know those beginner sets that a lot of us probably have been gifted before as children? The ones that had really dry oil pastels and even drier markers, so I tried to avoid them as much as I can, but I've been seeing a lot of oil pastel art actually in the Discord server, so it's really inspiring. So when they reached out to me, I just immediately said yes, and I would love to try these out. The box that these came in is really beautiful and it has this foam sections that keeps the pastel safe because they are really fragile and it also keeps them from contaminating each other's colors which is very practical but the oil pastels themselves are so buttery and so smooth that they just glide on top of the paper They're not at all like crayons, which I thought they would feel very similarly, but they're much more buttery and it, they almost feel like lipstick, the way they lay down, just how smooth they are. Crayons just feel very waxy, but these feel very velvety and, and smooth. The first time I tried them out was on very rough paper and I tried it there because I heard that it's better for layering your pastels but halfway through I sort of changed direction and wanted a very different look so I went with my smoothest paper this is the Cotman Extra Smooth and I'm using this because it helps me achieve this blending of colors that I like but also it helps me keep the textures of the pastels be the one that stands out instead of the texture of the paper. I really wanted to show the direction of the strokes that I was making while I was drawing and it's I want it almost to look like I'm painting a very textured painting. By the way, shout out to Lundabo and Vani on the Discord server for guiding me through my very first oil painting, uh, oil pastel drawing. They sort of said this very enlightening thing about them that I never realized before and they said that oil pastels are actually considered sometimes to be a wet medium. I was so mind blown by this that I just started noticing a lot of things that would make it make sense like how they would move even after I have laid them down. They would move really easily if I just touched them. So in that way, they are a wet medium, but also the reason why I was having trouble with adding more layers to the thick background was because I wasn't waiting for it to dry and it was still wet. So it wasn't accepting those layers. So something like that where I already had a lot of layers and I still want to add more. I just really had to wait for it to dry before I can do just that.
blending with these is a dream. I believe you can use a cotton ball to blend out two colors. But actually for a lot of the time that I did do that, because they were so easy to move, I just used my fingers. Although I didn't do a lot of that for this piece because it's just not the look that I was going for. But if you do want to do that, these oil pastels just make it so easy for that too. I think, I think the only thing that I really struggled with with my first try with oil pastels is when it came down to putting in the really tiny details just because these pastels are thick then it makes it harder for me to just draw with them I think you could always sharpen them if you want to but I didn't really want to do that I don't want to waste any of this as much as I can so what I did was I scraped off a tiny amount of them onto my very sharp pencil and then carefully laying it on top of my drawing. This was the easiest way I could figure out how to do that. I did also use a palette knife to do the same thing, so that's also an option. But in the end, I really did enjoy this overall experience. I'm already thinking of things that I can draw with these. It almost feels weird to say, to consider this drawing. It feels closer to painting, the way I'm laying down these colors, but... Yeah, it was really enjoyable. They also have a um, pastel color only set, which I'm so intrigued by. I think I might order those ones for myself. So I really enjoyed working with these. I can't wait to draw more with them. That is it for this video. The reference photo that I did is of Suli, and if you don't know her and if you have the time, please look her up and everything she stood up for. I think it still continues to be relevant to this day, but yeah, that will be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching and I will be seeing you again soon.